Hello. Again, we are now in our second topic. And welcome again to our subject, Differential Equations. For topic number two, we're going to discuss the solutions of differential equations. Okay, so this is the start of the different solutions in getting the differential equations. Okay, from the topic number one, we discuss several definition of terms. Okay, pasensya na ulit sa ingay. No, maingay yung aso ng kapitbahay. So, don't be distracted. Uh, wag ma distract ha, tsaka wag makawala ng focus. So, stay on the focus to our topic or discussion. Okay, again, in topic number one, we discuss several definition of terms here. Uh, before we start in solving problems, we need to, again, uh, define some terms. No, yung gagamitin kasi natin doon sa, sa discussion natin. Okay, first of it, we, uh, we, uh, we will going to discuss or uh, we need to know what do we mean by the arbitrary constants or constant. By arbitrary constant is constant which cannot be replaced by smaller number of constants. Or it is also known as the essential constant. Actually, there is an independent arbitrary constant na tinatawag. So, para mas lagang maintindihan yun, yung arbitrary constant, yun yung variable siya na nagre-represent ng constant. Uh, once na number na yung nakalagay, hindi na siya considered na independent arbitrary constant. Okay, example of it. We have one independent arbitrary constant. Okay, if our uh, general equation is y is equals to a plus b plus 3x squared, so paano na sabing independent siya? Kasi yung a and b are two separate entity actually. But since it is, uh, they are all constant, no, both a and b, pwedeng gawin isa na lang siya. Let's say c na lang, c plus 3x squared. So, kaya lumalabas na one independent arbitrary constant. Okay? Okay, three essential constants. So, since I have an A, B, and C, they have their own different entities. So, si A kay X squared, si B kay X, at si C, walang kasamang variable. So, we have three essential constants. And last, we have one essential constant if our equation is y is equals to a e raised to 3x minus b. So, paano ko nasabing one essential constant? We're going to solve it or simplify. At actually solve, no? si simplify natin yung terms para malaman natin kung ilan talaga yung constant niya. Importante malaman nyo, no? lalo yung tatawag independent arbitrary constant. Kasi doon tayo magdidepende mamaya kung ilang beses natin i-derive ang equation. So, may pag-usapan din tayo na iba't ibang klaseng equation sa pagsasolve. So, mamaya sasagutan natin yung bakit daw isang, isa lang ang essential constant ni y is equals to a e raised to 3x minus b. Okay, babalikan natin mamaya yan. Okay, so there, uh, there are what we call different names of an equation. If we say primitive equation, it is any non-derivative relation between the variables of a differential equation which satisfies the equation. Ito yung parang general equation din. Kung tawa again. No, yung wala ka pang ginagawang process, hindi mo pa din derive siya. No, yung pinaka problem niya. Okay? Yung general or complete solution naman, a solution which contains numbers of independent arbitrary constant equals to the order of the equation. So, we already discussed, so I've discussed the order of the equation, which must be sabi, no? Okay, contains number of independent arbitrary constant na dapat equal din sa order. So, yung tinatawag natin independent arbitrary constant, yung katulad kanina. Kung ilang beses 
natin i-derive, magdidepende yan doon sa kung ilan ang independent arbitrary constant. Yun yung pag-uusapan natin mamaya. Kasi pag hindi natin nalaman kung ilan yung independent arbitrary constant, hindi natin makukuha yung differential equation o yung tinatawag na order of the equation. And last is the particular solution. Okay, a solution which can be obtained from the general solution by giving specific, no, so Manila spelling, specific values to the arbitrary constant. Once na nawala na yung mga arbitrary constant, yung si A, si B, si C, at naging uh, number na siya. So, yung makikita nating equation, yun na yung tinatawag nating particular solution. So, everything will be explained later pag nasolve na natin yung mga problems. Okay, now, example number one. So, y is equals to a cosine 2x plus sine b sine 2x. So, yung problem na niya, yun yung tinatawag natin primitive of the differential equation of y double prime or second derivative of y plus 4y is equals to 0. So, yung problem is called the primitive. Tapos, yung differential equation niya, ito. So, paano na palabas yung y double prime? So, mamaya explain din natin pag nag-solve yan. For, for the meantime, give at is. Napabaya mo na natin ganyan. Okay. Example number 2. Yung problem ulit is called the primitive still. At yung differential equation nito, pag sinolve natin, yung y double prime minus y is equals to 0. Okay, where? Okay, para mas ma-explain na mas maayos. Yung primitive is also known the general solution. Para hindi kayo malito, ha? it can be named as primitive or general solution. And if we're going to let C1 and C2 have real value or a value itself, no? let's say 3 and negative 2. So yung general solution niya, replacing C1 as 3 and C2 as negative 2, wala nang magiging arbitrary constant. O kaya ang tawag na ngayon dyan, pag ganyan, wala ng arbitrary constant, it's called the particular solution. So, we have the primitive, or what we call the general solution, at saka yung differential equation na isosolve natin, at pag nawala yung arbitrary, ang tawag doon ay particular solution. Solving the, sabi natin, no, one essential arbitrary constant. So, bakit daw naging 1 essential yan? Okay, so, simple algebra lang gagawin natin dyan. Okay, so, we have y equals oops sorry so, equals separate muna natin by the rule in exponential yung 3x minus b multiplication yan, no? Paghihulay natin. Okay. Yan yung isa sa mga rule. Baka nakalimutan nyo na. Since negative b is negative, pwedeng ibaba. Yung maging a e raised to 3x over e raised to negative b. Since a and b are arbitrary constant, so, pwede natin ihiwalay yan doon sa 3x na may variable. So, pwede a over e raised to negative b times e raised to 3x. So, kaya tinawag natin 1 essential arbitrary constant. Kasi ito, considered na constant lang. So, pwede kong gawing for example, gusto kong gawing R siya. Me. Bakit R? Kasi first letter ng name ko. So, R na lang siya. E raised to 3x. So, yan ang tinatawag nating 
Simplifying the equation muna to tell how many essential arbitrary constant. Nangintindihan? Going back to the, the different solution. Ha? Yung, okay, general solution, yung primitive, and also yung particular solution. So, paano ba natin isosolve and to identify or solve the differential equations by the general solution. Okay, so we are, there are steps to follow. So, mamaya, so solve natin yung problem based on the step. Now, there are two steps actually in finding the differential equation on the general equation or the primitive form. First, differentiate the given relation up to its higher derivative until the number of derived equation is equal to the number of independent arbitrary constant in the given relation. Kaya, importanting malaman pa lang sa simula doon sa general equation kung ilan ang independent arbitrary constant or constants. Kasi doon tayo magbibase kung ilang beses natin siyang ititirive. Okay, second, we have to eliminate the constant using the given relation and the derived equations. So, halimbawa, may tatlong independent arbitrary constant. Yung general equation, i-derive natin ng tatlong beses. Tapos sa tatlong beses natin pag derive magkakaroon tayo ng first equation, yung original, second, yung first derivative, uh, third, second derivative, and fourth, yung third derivative. So, may apat na equations tayo. Bubuo ngayon tayo sa ng equations na yon Tapos, i-equate natin bawat equations para matanggal natin yung mga constants na sinasabi. O yung mga essential constants. Okay, so let's have an example. An example number one. Find the differential equation of the following general solutions. So, number one, yung kaninang problem. No? So, we have two essential constants o tinatawag natin independent constant. Dalawa. Independent arbitrary constant. So, paano natin siya isosolve? So, para malaman din natin kung ano yung magiging uh, differential equations niya at paano masabing yun nga yung tamang differential equation niya. Okay, solving equation a uh, problem number one by applying the two steps uh, in getting the differential equation on the general equation. Okay, example number one. Y is equals to A cosine 2X plus B sine 2X. Okay, first, it says, differentiate the given relation up to its higher derivative until the number of the der derived equation is equal to the number of independent arbitrary constants in the given relation. So, ilan ba ang independent arbitrary constant? Okay, ilan yung nakikita sa problem? Dalawa. We have the A and B. Okay, so it means two independent arbitrary constant. We're going to derive the equation twice. So, yung una ngayon nating equation, ito na yun. Let this be our equation 1. Kasi bubuo tayo mamaya ng equation para ma-apply yung step number 2. Kailangan matanggal yung A and B. Equation number 1. Okay, so, we have to derive Y. So, we have Y prime. Since A is a constant. So, A times what is the derivative of cosine 2x. We have negative sine 2x times the derivative of 2x is 2. Okay, plus b is constant. Derivative ni sine 2x is cosine 2x and the derivative of 2x is 2. So simplifying further, y prime, we have negative. Unahin ko na si 2 times a sine 2x unahin ko na rin si 2 b cosine 2x so that is our second equation equation 2 okay next 
the long basis kasi natin di derive now because of we have two independent arbitrary constants. Okay, second derivative. So you already have a constant of negative 2a. Tapos derivative ni sine is cosine 2x times derivative of 2x is 2. Sorry for that. Plus 2b constant. Derivative ni cosine is negative sine 2x. And derivative of 2x is 2. Okay, so simplifying again. The second derivative or y double prime. So we have negative 4a. Multiply na natin kay 2, si 2. Cosine 2x. Positive times negative is negative. 2 times 2 is 4. b sine to x so that this be our equation number three so that the equation ngayon natin now in uh, using or following step number two paano natin eliminate yung constant now using the given relations or we have equation one two and three so by inspection that we have y is equals to a cosine 2x plus b sine 2x. Paano natin ngayon i -re relate dito? No? So, parang ito yung mga pagpipilian para matanggal yung a and b. Yung una, yung ito, ito, at saka yung pinaka-problem. Okay, so, sa, paano natin niya apply so we can say we can factor y double prime. Oh, may common factor kasi siyang negative 4. Right. So may matitira tayo a cosine 2x. Since nilabas ko na yung negative, yung first term magiging positive, yung second term will be also positive b sin 2x. So, bakit ko ginawang ganyan? Kasi nakita ko na agad sa equation number 1, yun na yung lumalabas dito. No? So, we can equate okay, by equating 1, equation 1 and 2. So, ano mangyayari? Si y double prime, sorry, equation number 3 pala to. Si y double prime. Ilayin ko lang ito. Ayan. Equation number 3. Si y double prime equals k negative 4. Yung a cosine 2x at b plus sine 2x, siya si y. Equation number 1. So, we have negative 4y. So, we have y double prime. Lipat ko ito sa kabila, plus 4y equals to 0. So, ito yung tinatawag ngayon natin, differential equation. So, yan na yun. Yan na yung final answer. So, paano ko masasabi na yan nga yung differential equation? So, kailangan masatisfy itong equation sa 0. So, what is y double prime? y double prime, balik tayo dito. Okay, checking tayo, checking. Okay, y double prime plus 4y. So, we have negative 4a cosine 2x minus 4b sine 2x plus, okay, ito na yung y double prime. So, let go. Ito yung y double prime. Okay. So, kailangan ko ngayon ng 4. So, ito yung 4 times yung y. Okay. Ano yung value ni y? a cosine 2x plus b sine 2x which must be equals to 0. So, ito naman si y. Ayan yung sinecheck ngayon natin. 
Okay, so simplifying further, negative 4a cosine 2x minus 4b sine 2x plus, okay, so yung 4, distribute ko na inside the quantity, making it 4a cosine 2x plus 4b sine 2x is equals to 0. So, kailangan maging 0. Si negative 4a cosine 2x, cancel. Si negative 4b sine 2x, cancel. So, 0 is equals to 0. So, it means that this is my differential equation having a general or primitive equation. So, natanggal na natin dito yung arbitrary constant. Nasukob na natin yung example number 1. Next, in solving example number 2, ano ba example number 2? Y is equals to C1 e raised to x plus C2 e raised to negative x. Okay, we have also two independent arbitrary constant. Okay, natatandaan niyo sa integral, yan yung mga constant na yung plus C. Na, na hindi importante doon, pero kailangan natin ilagay. So, ito sinosolve na ngayon natin. Later on sa problem talaga sa applications, kailangan niya na may important role yung mga arbitrary constants na yan. Okay, so paano naman natin isolve itong number 2? So, again, by, by uh, inspection, we have two independent arbitrary constants. So, how many times are we going to der derive? Okay, very good, no? Two times again. Solving number 2. So, sabi ko rin sa inyo, ano, nung differential calculus, yung first time na makita nyo yung may e raised to x, nako, parang ang hirap. So, dito sa differential equation, common na yan, yung mga problem na yan. Pag may e raised to x, papasalamat na kayo kasi madali yung problem pag may e raised to x or exponential. Okay, so, again, so this is my equation 1. Okay, so how many arbitrary constants? So we have two. So we're going to derive it two times. So yung first, derivative. Okay, sana tandaan nyo pa rin yung mga derivative formulas. If not, index card allowed. As long as it is written, all the formulas written on your one half size index card. Okay, so we have C1 constant. Derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x still. Plus, C2 constant, derivative na e raised to negative x is e raised to negative x times negative 1 because of the exponent of negative x. By simplifying further, y prime is equals to C1 e raised to x, positive times negative is negative, C2 e raised to negative x. Let this be our equation number 2. Okay, so next, second derivative, for the last time, again, just copy the first term kasi no changes at all. The derivative ng e raised to x, still the e raised to x, minus c2 e raised to negative x times negative 1. No? Kasi pag dinerive natin, yung negative x is negative 1. So, simplifying Further, so we have C1 e raised to x negative times negative, positive, C2 e raised to negative x. And let this be our equation number 3. Okay, that is our equation 1, 2, and 3. Para matanggal si C1 at si C2, again by inspection, we can equate, para mas mabilis, Again, so equation 1 and equation number 2. So, if this is my equation number 2, equals, since C1 e raised to x plus C2 e raised to negative x is the same or equals to y, so y double prime is just equals to y. So, getting the uh, differential equation, so we have y double prime, minus y is equals to 0. So, this is our differential equation. Okay, so, hindi na natin kailangan i-prove, no? Kasi, obviously, equal talaga si y at saka si y prime. 
Nah, dan hilang, di ba? Okay, let's proceed to example number 3. Example number 3, we have y is equals to 3x to the 4th plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. So, ilang independent arbitrary constant. Okay, gusto kong marinig. Ano ang sagot? Kung ang sagot nyo ay 5, mali. Okay, why? Yung first term kasi na 3 is already a fixed constant, no? Particular na yan, eh. Kasi mayroon na siyang exactong value, so hindi na siya kasama. Meron lang tayo A, B, C, and D. So, we have only four independent arbitrary constants. So, we need to derive Y how many times? Okay, four times. Solving example number three. So, we have y is equals to 3x to the 4th plus ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus t, uh, d. So, we need to derive it 4 times. So, ito ulit yung equation number 1. Ano lang ganyan. So, second equation belongs to our first derivative. So, 3x to the 4th, we have 12x cubed plus a is constant. 3ax squared plus bx squared derivative to bx plus derivative ng cx is just c and d is 0. Derivative of a, var uh, a constant is 0. So that is our equation number 2. Next for the second derivative, 12 times 3 is 36 x squared, first derivative ng first term. Bring down 2 to be multiplied by the constant 3a. We have 6a. Okay, pag dinerive si x squared, x na lang. Plus, derivative of 2bx. So, 2b is the constant. Yan na lang matitira. Sa so, c, derivative ng c constant is 0. So, equation number 3. Okay, and sabi apat eh. For second to the last, for the third derivative, Derivative ni 36x squared is 72x. Derivative ni 6ax is just 6a. Derivative ni 2b is 0. So, this is our fourth equation. And for our last, so ano mo yung symbol? Kung natatandaan, ang symbol ba ay apat na guhit? Okay. Paano pag naging lima? <laughs> hindi pa pwede. Ani? Okay. Hindi pa pwede. Ano lagi naman yung scoring sa volleyball? Okay, so hindi fourth prime. Okay, ano yung magiging symbol natin? Kung natatandaan, okay, lali tayo ng 4. Pero para ma-avoid ang confusion, kasi baka mapagkamal ang exponent, you have to put a parenthesis. Para ibig sabihin, fourth derivative siya. So for the fourth derivative, derivative ng 72x is 72. Derivative ng 6a, 0. So, this is the fifth equation. So, dito sa fifth equation, may natira pa ba tayong independent arbitrary constant? Good. Wala na. So, it means this is now our final answer. So, if this is the differential equation of the general solution or primitive, so, wala na naman tayong independent. So, we can also say that this is the particular solution. No, kasi nawala na rin naman yung independent constant. So, okay, naiintindihan. Okay, good. So far, naiintindihan pa naman, no? And for the fourth example or last example, we're going to solve it in two methods. So, but first, how many independent arbitrary constant? Okay, good. Three independent arbitrary constants. So, so solve natin yan into two methods. Yung una, by equating coefficient. Second is by Kramer's rule or using determinants. Kung natatandaan nyo pa yun. Solving for example number four. Okay, first, using 
Ayan, yung gagamitin mo natin met method dito by elimination methods. Okay, so, may natin stop elimination ha, pero gagamitin natin elimination method. I-derive muna natin 3 times. So, we have equation 1. So, second equation for the first derivative. Again, derivative of this is e raised to 2x times 2. Uh, derivative ni 2x kasi is 2. Plus b, just copy e raised to x. Uh, derivative ng e raised to x is e raised to x. Derivative ng c is 0. So, equation number 2. Next, for equation number 3, kukunin natin sa second derivative. So, yung 2 at saka a, but sasamahin ko na ha. And derivative of e raised to 2x is e raised to 2x, again, multiplied by 2 because of the derivative of 2x. Plus, derivative ng b raised to ex is still b e raised to x. So, walang nagbabago lagi dyan. So, this is our equation number 3. Okay, equation number 4. From derivative 3 or third derivative in 2 times 2, pagsamahin ko ulit for a times e raised to 2x again multiplied by 2 plus just copy ulit yung last term. Or I can say that this, uh, we can say that 4 times 2 is 8a, naging circle lang yan ha. Pero Parenthesis yan. e raised to 2x plus b e raised to x. So, this is our equation number 4. So, check nyo nga. Meron ba tayong process na katulad ng example 1 and 2 na matatanggal na si a and b? So, sa lahat ng equation, may y1, kay 1, tatlo pa. A, B, and C, kay equation 2, dalawa, kay equation 3, dalawa, A and B, A and B pa rin, so equation 3, A and B. So, hindi natin ma-short yung process niya, no? Kaya we need to eliminate. So, in eliminating, kaya wag na natin sama si equation 1 kasi siya lang yung bukod tayo yung may C. We can choose between 2, 3, 2, 4, or 3, 4. Okay, so if we're going to use 2, 3, okay, using, sana natatandaan niyo pa to, using equation 2 and 3. Okay, so ito si 2, so I write ko lang, we have 2a e raised to 2x plus b e raised to x. And y double prime of 2 times 2 is 4 a e raised to 2x plus b e raised to x. Ano gagawin nyo natin dyan? Okay, subtracting 2, equation 2, and equation 3. So, subtract naman natin. So, sa subtraction, y prime or equation number 2 minus y double prime or equation number 3 Oops. Okay, ang may eliminate kasi natin pag sinutrack yung last term so change the sign change the sign Change the sign and proceed sa addition. Okay. So, we have y prime minus y double prime. Okay. Equals 2 plus negative 4a is negative 2a. And copy the similar terms. Ito, cancel na. Okay. So, ito yung magiging equation number 5. Okay, so sundan, algebra lang ito ha. Next, so nabawasan na tayo ng isang variable dito, wala na si B. So again, 
pinili ko 2, 3. Pwede ko rin i-combine si 2, 4 or si 3, 4. So, it's up to you. So, kung gusto ko naman isubtract si 3 and 4. So, again, pwede si 2, 4, ha? Masa sa inyo naman yan. So, si 3, 4, susubtract ko. Equation number 3, si y double prime. Okay, equals kay 2a. O, oh, 4 na pala to. Burayin ko lang. This is 4a kasi 2 times 2. a raised to 2x plus b e raised to x minus my y triple prime or third derivative. So 8 na yan. 8a e raised to 2x plus b e raised to x. Okay, so again, change the sign, change the sign, change the sign, and proceed sa addition. So we have y double prime minus y triple prime. 4 plus negative 8 is negative 4a e raised to... Okay, so sorry. Medyo mahirap magsulat talaga. Kakapanibago. I miss my blackboard. The room 211. 2x. Cancel na to. So, let this be our equation number 6. Okay. So, check. Equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, meron na akong 5 and 6 na natira na lang ay A. So, paano ang gagawin ngayon natin? Para matanggal si A, kailangan maging magkamukha si negative 2. Ito na kailangan maging magkamukha. Itong part na to, at saka ito. So, magkamukha na magkaiba ng sign. So, si 2, mumultiply ko ng negative 2. Para maging magkamukha siya na magkaiba ng sign. So, multiply negative 2 in equation 5. Then, add equation number 6. Okay, so try natin. Yung negative 2, mumultiply ko by equation 5, which is y prime minus y double prime equals negative 2. Okay, bubuin ko to. A e raised to 2x multiplied by negative 2. Okay, ito yung equation 5, ha? Okay, so distribute natin si negative 2. Negative 2y prime plus 2y double prime equals multiply negative 2 magiging positive 4a na siya e raised to 2x. So equation 5 pa rin to. New equation 5. Okay, i-add ko daw kay equation 6. So, equation 6 y double prime Minus y triple prime equals negative 4a e raised to 2x. Okay, nakakasunod pa rin. Okay, good. So here, negative 2y prime, wala ang kamuka. So I have negative 2y prime. Yung plus 2y prime and y double, two, double prime, pwede niya add plus... 3y double prime and yung third derivative or y triple prime equals so ito cancel na ito cancel na equals to 0 so may natira pa bang independent constant wala na 
So we can say that this is now our differential equation. Okay, so nakakasunod. Okay, very good. Kung ayaw nyo naman ng uh, increasing order, pwede rin namang descending, no? Kung sanay kayo. Actually, masanay ako sa descending. Okay, so papakita ko lang. Yung negative y triple prime plus 3y double prime minus 2y prime equals to 0. So, ayan ang descending order. Kung ayaw nyo rin ng negative, pwede rin maging positive. Multiply nyo lang by negative 1 yung equations. Kung ano gagawin sa kaliwa, ganun din gawin sa kanan. So, we have y triple prime positive na. Or third derivative. Yung positive magiging negative. Second derivative. Yung negative magiging positive. And still equals to 0. Okay, so either of the two. Okay, good. So, that's method 1 or yung elimination method. So, susunod naman natin isosolve using Kramer's rule or determinants. Okay, solve natin using method 2. Okay, kailangan pa rin natin yung mga equation 1, 2, 3, 4, 9. Okay, so method 2. Okay, bye. Kramer's rule or determinants. Nagagamit tayo ng matrix dyan. Okay, sulat muna natin yung equations, na. No? Okay, sa mga equation, ang kukunin na lang natin yung may mga common na constants. Si equation 1 kasi may C pa, huwag na natin isama. Kailangan yung mga common lang yung constant, no? Yung may AB lang. Sino sino yung may AB? Okay, so siyempre si equation number 2. Yung y prime equals okay, 2A e raised to 2x plus ay bakit ba may 2? Number 2 na pala yun. Plus B e raised to x. So equation number 2. Equation number 3 para kayo second derivative. So 2 times 2 is 4a e raised to 2x plus b raised to x. And last yung equation 3. Eh, sorry, equation 4. Okay, third derivative which is 8a e raised to 2x plus b e raised to x. So again, bakit si equation 2, 3, 4 lang? Kasi kailangan common a and b. Yun yung tatanggalin ngayon natin. No? Si equation number 1, di kailangan kasi may c. So dito natin kukunin using yung general, yung differential equation using determinants or Kramer rule. So, paano ba natin kukunin yun? Okay. Since equation 2, 3, and 4, okay, have the same constant, na 2a, 4a, 8a, tapos yung variable din na e raised to 2x. No? Same with this one. So, pwede na natin isulat kasi siya sa matrix form. Okay, sa matrix form, by the way, kailangan ganito yung ayos sa para hindi kayo malito. Okay, yung mga order na sa kaliwa. Tapos yung equation or function na sa kanan. Now, dependent and independent. Kailangan laging equal. So, yung pagkaharuin kasi malilito kayo. So, sa determinants using matrix, so, ito yung gagawa tayo ng matrix form, no? Naka- Gollum, sunod-sunod inside a matrix or an array. Tapos, we have 2a a raised to 2x or a a raised to 2x 
and a a e raised to x again reminder ko lang kailangan ganito yung ios otherwise malilito kayo ay equate nyo sa 0 ayan so, may common term kasi dito sa second column and third column sa first column wala. So, rewrite ko lang. Parallel line. Dito, if we're going to divide each uh, column no, by 2a e raised to 2x, lahat. So, ito magiging 1 na lang. Ito, pag dinivide ko dito, Cancel, 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 cancel sa A. 2 and 4. May matitira pang 2. Dito, 8 divided by 2. May matitira pang 4. Okay, nasusundan. Dinivide lang natin no, by its common. Which is 2A e raised to 2X. Ito. So, lahat. Pag dinivide ko sa common niya na B e raised to X. Lahat magiging 1 na lang. Okay, nakakasunod pa. Okay, tapos sa-apply ngayon natin yung Kramer's Rule. Applying Kramer's Rule, mumultiply lahat ng pababa, ito, punta dito. Multiply, lahat positive yung pababa. Ito, pupunta dyan, pupunta rito. Multiply. Tapos ito, pupunta dyan, pupunta rito, pupunta doon. Okay, so ano, kung, ano ibig kong sabihin? Okay, yung first part, okay, ito, 1 times, oh, sorry, 1, y prime, sorry, y prime times 2 times 1. Oh, parang spaghetti pa baba, pa baba ng pa baba. Okay, lahat ng pa baba, multiply Tapos positive lahat, no? Tapos na tayo sa isang diagonal. Second diagonal. Plus rin. 1 times 1. 1 times 1. Ang kaduktong yan. Ito. Times y triple prime. Okay. Tapos yung nasa taas. Plus 1 times y double prime times 4. Okay. Minus yung pataas naman. Okay. Ano yung pataas? Simula natin dito sa gitna ulit. Ayan. Okay. So, we have y triple prime times 2 times 1. Okay. Next, 4 times 1. Tatagos dito sa y prime. Okay. Plus, oh, para hindi magulo, lagay ko na lang times na negative kasi gawin ko na rin plus. Automatic minus naman to. Lagay ko na lang bracket. Sige, kung nagigito kayo, Sige, minus na rin to Minus. So, we have 4 times 1 times y prime. Okay, and last, si 1 multiply by y double prime by 1. Okay, plus 1 multiply by y double prime times 1 okay, equals to 0. Okay, kung nalilito kayo doon, nakakadulin na sa may isang technique, elementary approach. So, ano yung elementary approach? Or, para hindi kayo malito. Sige, sulat ko ulit. Oops. Na 
natin na na ito at ayoko na hinirapan kayo eh. Ay, ang gagawin ninyo para hindi magsigsag ang paningin ninyo ayan yan ulitin nyo yung first two columns ulitin nyo ulit ay first two sorry last two pala yan itong first two columns na to ulitin nyo we have y prime y double prime and y triple prime tsaka si 1 si 2 at si 4 yan ulitin nyo Para pagka in-apply nyo na ulit, hindi na babalik-balik pa, no? So, ito, wala nang problema. I check. Y prime times 2 times 1. Okay na to. Okay, next. 1 times 1 times Y prime. 1 times 1 times Y triple prime pala. Check. 1 times y double prime times 4. Check. Okay, diba? Mas mabilis. Minus. Okay, lahat naman ng pataas. Okay, ito, sakto. y triple prime times 2 times 1. Check. 4 times 1 times y prime. Oops. I check and last 1 times y double prime times 1. I check. Okay, nakakasunod. Okay, very good. So, continue na natin to, itong part na to. Ito ko na sulat. So, simplifying this. So, we have 2y prime plus y triple prime plus 4y double prime minus 2y triple prime minus 4y prime plus y double prime equals to 0. Okay, so simplifying this, pagsamahin yung dapat pagsamahin, gawin na natin descending order yung uh, order then ng equation. So, let's start with y triple prime minus 2 y triple prime. Tanggal na to. Okay, followed by second derivative or 4 y double prime plus y double prime. And last, 2y prime minus 4y prime equals to 0. I combine similar ter terms, y triple prime minus 2y triple prime. We have negative y triple prime. Okay na to. 4y prime plus y prime plus 5y double prime pala. 2y prime minus 4y prime is negative. Okay, negative 2y prime equals to 0. So, parang may mali tayong nagawa. Negative 4y prime. Okay, so may mali tayo. Ano ito? Sabi na nga ba? Okay, sorry. Ito, dapat negative. So, minsan kasi pag nagsasolve ka, may pakiramdam ka na, no? Mauhuli mo. So, tama naman dito sa part na to. Kaya, we have y double prime. So, ito mali. This must be negative. So, burahin ko na. Ayaw ko nang i-edit. Pagod na ako. Ito 
Okay, so dapat to ay minus ay sorry. To minus y double prime. So dapat ito yan. Ay, kaya 4y prime minus y double prime and d siya 5 siya ay 3 okay good so let's continue so since negative to change the sign to positive by multiplying negative 1 to the whole equation so we have y triple prime minus 3y double prime plus 2y prime equals 0. Final answer. So, magkamukha ba sila ng sagot? Okay, good. So, magkamukha ng sagot. So, it's up to you kung anong method ang gagamitin ninyo. Okay, so sana naintindihan. So, we're done solving number 4 by 2 methods. Okay, so mamili na lang kayo doon kanina sa dalawang method na sinolve natin kung ano mas madali sa inyo. Tapos, mag send ulit ako. So, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. So, mag send ako ng problem sets. Okay, so you're going to answer it. Okay, ito yung mangyayari, no? Same format tayo. So, ibibigay ko din yung format, no? Para hindi magulo. So, format natin, okay, same pa rin yung gagawin, no? Uh, meron pa rin margin, short band paper, pero wala na lang box kasi wala tayong set number. So, anong ilalagay na lang doon sa taas? You're going to write your name, unahin ang surname, first name, and middle initial. Sa ilalim nun, course, year, and section. Ay, sorry, subject pala muna, sorry, subject. Tapos sa pangatlo, sa ilalim nun, course, year, and section. Katapos, sa ilalim ng pang-apat, the date. Okay, yung date kung kailan nyo ginawa. So, wala namang relevant yung date, no? Kasi, ang mangyayari, you're going to compile all your assignments. Hindi ko namang kukunin yung katulad dati rin ng weekly. Kukunin ko yan. Kakasama na, no? Sabay-sabay na. Ilalagay sa short round envelope. Kukunin ko one week before the final exam. No? Lahat yan, na Mapa AOL, SL, at saka RPL. Okay, and last, after nung date, kung kailan yung ginawa, okay, kahit kailan pwede yung gawin. Huwag lang yung kung kailan submission doon yung gagawin. Nakalettering guide ha, alam nyo yung procedure natin doon. And last, lagay kong assignment number 1. And of course, huwag kakalimutan yung tape, scotch tape ilalagay sa likod, yung paa. Nang, tatakpan nyo yung paa ng bala ng stapler. Okay, so hanggat maaari, huwag magkopyahan ha. Para sa SL, makinig. Sa SL at sa AOL, okay, pili lang ang sasagutan ninyo. Pero sa RPL, lahat ng problems na makikita nyo ipopost ko, sasagutan nyo yun. Okay, maliwanag. Okay, so ibibigay ko yung copy ng problem. Uh, ipipicture lang ko na lang yon, tapos isi-send ko sa GC ng mga mayors para i-distribute ng mayors per section ilalagay ko na rin kung ilan yung sasagutan lang ng SL ng AOL okay, basta yung RPL sasagutan lahat okay so that's it for this topic expect more topics to come and alam ko, no, wala namang pupunta sa cementerio ngayon. Kaya magtiri kayo ng kandila para sa mga mahal sa buhay natin. 
Ano yung mga una at para sa grades nyo rin. Okay, joke. Okay, so God bless us all. Continue studying. And love you all. Okay, thank you very much.